hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is juliet so in today's video i will be sharing with you how i made a simple booboo dress so first i measured out the length of the dress i'm working with i'm working with 34 but i measured out 36 inches which is one yard so i cut out one yard on my ankara bundle on my ankara fabric twice so one for the front and then the other for the back so i have the entire the entire width of the ankara folded into two is about 20 22 inches on fold this is what i have here we'll not be using all of that so the reason why i cut out my ankara in that manner is because of the pattern on it i want the lines to fall vertically on the person's body so next for the width first of all you check your shoulder measurement divided by two so shoulder of 16 divided by two that is eight and then you go on ahead to mark the length of your sleeve plus extra two inches for allowance so if you are not following a pattern like me your width should be your shoulder half of your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurements plus another two inches of allowance that is what you will put on fold so here now i am marking the width that i want but i'm going to fold that in instead of cutting out you can cut it out but i decided to fold it in as i will be lining this um short dress this boo boo dress so after folding it in i'm going to mark one and a half inches down from this side and then from the folded end i will mark three inches inwards and then i will connect the two points together that will form the shoulder slope so next i'm marking a neck width of three and a half inches and then the neck depth of four so the wideness is three and a half and then the length is four inches that is for the front then for the back i marked one inch for the length and then the width is the same as the front so next off i'm going to cut starting with the back neckline first and then i will cut the shoulder slant after that i will lift up the front piece and then cut out the front neckline only on that front piece So next I'm going to cut lining pieces for both the front and the back. So I cut my lining such that it stops just where the part I folded inside is sitting. So the Ankara is going to complete the remaining part of the lining or the inside. So I did the same for the front and the back pieces. So next I'm going to iron um, gum stay on the front piece of this uh, booboo dress. So this is a piece of uh, medium weight gum stay. I'm just going to iron it on the front piece like so, on the neckline. So if you look at the picture on the thumbnail, there's a slit in the middle. And I want to add a bit of structure to that. So after ironing the gum stay on, this, on the front piece, I'm folding it into two. So I can use my iron to get a crease that we will use later. So next I place the front and the back pieces on top of each other. And then I went to join the shoulders. So I'm matching the shoulders together like so. I will go sew them using half inch and then I will do the same for the lining. So after joining the shoulders, this is the lining and then this is the main fabric. Next, I'm going to place the lining on the right side of this booboo and then we will go sew the neckline. So this is the lining, the front, 
and this is the front part so i'm going to pin the lining around the neckline just to hold it in place for now and then on the front side i will measure six inches down from the neckline and then i will mark it with my chalk as you can see then we are going to go so following where i'm marking like so we will come down in like a v go back up and then sew around the neckline using half of an inch after that i am notching the neckline just making small cuts around the neckline but i'm not cutting through the seam line after notching all around i will cut open the down this uh, v that we sewed like this and then i will turn the i will also cut off these corners so it turns out uh, there will be no buck when i turn it out when i push them out so i'm turning the lining over to the wrong side now and then i will use my iron to iron it smooth So after ironing this is what we have this is what the front is looking like everything is clean so next time turning back to in the inside and turning it to the wrong side now and then i am going to fold i'm going to go join the lining on the sides so what i would do is that i will fold the Ankara piece like so and then fold the lining piece as well such that the right sides of both will be facing each other and then I will go so like that until I get to the other end. So right now this is the right side of the lining that is up and then the right side of the Ankara is down. So I'm going to turn them such that the right sides will be facing each other and then we'll go so the sides using half of an inch all the way to the other side so after sewing this is what we now have so the ankara is inside a bit it's completing the remaining part of the lining so after that i ironed and this is what we have so i'm going to go on now and then fold this down part I'm just going to go fold twice half inch and then fold another half again and then sew down so i will do the same thing for the other side as well that's the front and the back after folding this is what the lower part is looking like so next i'm placing the the booboo gown together the front and the back together and then I'm pinning down as you can see so this is the center point this is the midpoint of this front uh, piece this front so from that center point that is where our measurements are going to start but from the shoulder I am marking 12 inches next i'm going to mark the half length i'm working with which is 17 inches and then the hip line of 25 inches so i'm going to do the same thing on this other side as well so that's the midpoint again from there i'm going to mark quarter of the bust measurement i'm working with plus extra one inch and then i will mark then on this half length line again i'll do the same thing half length round divided by four plus one inch for ease please note that the measurements are starting from the midpoint i'll do the same thing on the hip line hip divided by four plus one inch and then the same measurement on the down part i'm going to connect these lines together like so so you can actually stop about four inches before the hem of the 
dress if you want but this is a really short one so there's really no need for a slit it's not going to affect your movement in any way so turning to this other side i'm also pinning down so it stays in place The next I'm going to repeat the same thing we did for the other side starting from the midpoint I will mark quarter of the bust measurement here plus one inch so divide your bust by four whatever you get add one inch to it and mark there the same thing for the half length quarter of the half length round plus one inch and then the same thing for the hip and then the hip measurement is what you take to the down part like so so using my chalk I am connecting all of this this is obviously the right side of the dress as you can see so I'm going to go so starting from that top like so all the way down following the lines after sewing I went ahead to clean up the chalk since it's on the right side and then this is what the booboo -boo is looking like we're going to iron it and that is it as simple as that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video please like share comment and subscribe bye